Welcome back to our lecture session for uh, the course Properties of AB Materials. I am Ian, and we are in lecture seven uh, to discuss about the surface area of uh, AB materials. Let us continue with the lecture. In this lecture, you are uh, expected to learn of the uh, importance of the surface area property. Uh, its methods of determination and the uh, applications of uh, the property or the, the methods, okay? And uh, yeah, the properties exactly. Uh, here are some uses of uh, the surface area property of agricultural materials. It gives an approximation of the photosynthetic capabilities of leaves. Likewise, uh, plant transpiration can be determined these are uh, two properties uh, critical to the growth and development of a crop. And thus, the third importance would be the influence of surface area to plant growth and uh, development by virtue of these two properties of uh, transpiration and uh, 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 photosynthesis. Uh, another important aspect of surface area would be in uh, fluid respiration, the greater the surface area. Uh, the more respiration gases the AA fruit emits. Ethylene is one of the five major uh, plant hormones, and it is essential for uh, fruit ripening. The greater the surface area, the more ethylene is produced, right? Uh, from importance items number one, two, three, we can now say that mass transfer is happening via the gas movement. Okay, if you can see. Uh, in the graphic. Thus, heat and mass transfer uh, likewise uh, are affected by the surface area. And heating and thawing processes are dependent also on the surface area okay, based on this uh, mass transfer and ma heat, heat and mass transfer uh, processes. For the methods of uh, for the methods of Okay, for the methods of uh, surface area determination, we have uh, contour tracing, which is very understandable enough. We will, just, we will discuss the others in details, beginning with the mathematical, um, using other uh, parameters to relate the uh, surface area. And we have also two methods under experimental, the airflow planimeter and uh, image processing. Surface area determination using mathematical functions relate different parameters of the AB material using a formula. For example, uh, with rotational ellipsoids, the orthogonal uh, access lengths of uh, the material are used in relation uh, in the relation uh, of equation one, where the lengths are multiplied along with pi to come up with the surface area value. Uh, the same goes for other object or material shapes. For spherical shapes, we have equation two, where the weights of, of uh, the weights, of the material are used to get the surface area value. Uh, this is uh, equation two is an empirical equation based on the constant coefficient 4.36. Uh, okay. Given the actual weight and volumetric weight, the surface area can be uh, determined. And in equation three, we have four uh, oblate spheroids. Okay, K is a factor in that equation where it is used as a coefficient uh, as a multiply, multiplier to the weight of the object to ob obtain the uh, surface area. And the 4.6 to 5.0 uh, values vary for materials. And this is used uh, in, in CM uh, for the centimeter units, okay? So the output of F would be in centimeters. 
uh, okay, so k is multiplied to the actual weight uh, raised the, the, the that quantity raised to two thirds. Okay. Uh, besides the indirect methods of using uh, measurement of related material parameters, the surface area can be determined using experimental methods. Um, and there's the physical method of using an airflow planimeter. And this method is based on the procedure outlined by Jenkins in 1959. I'd like you to read about that using the uh, journal. It'll be, uh, it's, it's available for you to read. It needs an airflow uh, planimeter setup uh, consisting of a constant speed rotary pump and two Okay, two perforated plates. The measuring grid is completely closed initially, and the pressure uh, value is measured. And then the object, particularly a diff, is placed on the other perforated plate. Uh, the closed plate is, is then opened until the pressure value, because uh, the, the, the lift will, uh, will uh, will be an obstacle to the pump. So there's going to be pressure, okay? To the to wind, to the, to the airflow produced by the pump, okay? So the closing slide value, okay, is then measured, okay? So you, you there's a value uh, difference now between the two plates because the perforated plate with the leaf will uh, will have an obstruction and it, it will cause a drop in pressure. And so the uh, value is then, okay, so the, the, the pressure value on that perforated plate with the leaf will then be adjusted so that the both uh, measurements of pressure on both the plates will be the same. And the, uh, the measurement is uh, is taken so that the closing slide value now is the leaf surface area, okay, which equals the open surface area of the measuring grid. Lastly, there are computational uh, software used. So we can see here on the screen a sample of uh, area determination by image processing. And in surface area determination, it's merely a enhanced enhancement of the area determination process for uh, projected areas. Okay, so in, in the first step, the image processing is done of or with uh, image processing software such as Adobe Photoshop and Corel Draw, and there is also the 3D reconstruction using the computational software such as MATLAB and Scilab. And there is lastly the error determination using the computational software. The same software in number two. Also, uh, there's another technique, okay, uh, similar to uh, this this image processing, but it uses 3D scanning. So the area is determined using also using well in in the 3D scanning, so the topology of the material is determined uh, with the 3D scanner, and the volume now is determined using computational software, similar to the uh, measurement of, of the uh, area where numerical integration is used. So uh, the, the area is divided into small strips, and each strip is uh, integrated along the uh, whole uh, volume or the whole surface of the material. So uh, in the next lecture, we will tackle the properties related to surface area, and those are uh, volume and density, besides uh, looking into the procedure of image processing. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at the, just the basic uh, you, uh, uses of, or the method of image processing using uh, a 
image processing software and then we'll try to uh, look into Scilab, which is a free or an open source software for uh, for or programming software, okay? I will see you by then.